Gladiator. I gather that was a movie where the script wasn't fully, let's say, complete. When we had got 21 started. pages when we started shooting. 21. Yeah, your, your average script is about 110. How much in the final movie is is you coming up with stuff? Well, that's me and Ridley working together, but it's also you know it's the dumbest possible way to make a film. The dumbest possible way. We occasionally get together and have a drink and laugh about, you know, what sort of a bullet was that we dodged. Not only did we get it done, it was the best film. It won the Oscar for best film. Desperately, at one point in time, Ridley gave the crew a day off because we simply didn't know what we were going to shoot the next day. We didn't know what we were going to shoot. So we had to go back to my house, you know, me and him and David Franzoni, one of the producers who was also the original writer, and try and work it out. Who is he? Will you move your helmet and tell me your name? My name is Gladiator. Father to a murdered son, husband to a murdered wife, and I will have my vengeance. He saw the script as it existed was in two acts, and he says it needs three. He was going to shoot the forest of the barbarians in England. He knew he was going to shoot Rome in Malta. But then we chartered a plane and took 250, 300 crew or whatever to Morocco. You see? My wife and my son are already waiting for me. We'll meet them again, but not yet. He'd gone down there, he'd picked some locations, the sets were dressed, but we didn't have any pages. When we arrived in Morocco, we'd already run out of the first 21 pages that we had, so we had to write like furious people over that weekend. But we also had a number of other people who kept submitting stuff, you know. Uh, Bill Nicholson here, and um, John Logan in America. So you have this sort of situation where, you know, versions of what could possibly happen next kept arriving from different writers. <laughs> so we would go, oh, I like that line. The rest of that's crap. Um, oh, this situation's good. Like, brick drag that in here. Oh, that's a good thing. Oh, that shouldn't be said by him. That should be said by him. And we were just sort of putting it together. But, you know, because he'd made the decision right at the beginning, I know this is a sort of dangerous path that I'm going down, but I will try and shoot as much as possible uh, in a linear production schedule. That meant that he could stack up all of what he had, examine it, and then see in a way what he needed, you know? so. Mm. Funnily enough, if you have a really responsible director like Ridley, who is never going to go crazy with the cost of stuff, you know, he's always going to be responsible for the dollars he's spending, uh, it's not actually that bad <laughs> a way to do it, you know, if you have the right group of willing people. And I guess now it's the movie that people quote at you in the street all the time, right? It's got long legs, hasn't it, man? Yeah, you know, we really? shot it in 1999, and you know, still any given day anywhere in the world, you can find Gladiator on, on you know, somewhere in the world. It's going to be on primetime TV. What we do in life echoes of eternity.